The final question that remains, why does this cylinder kit cost 700 euros? Cheers guys, how's it going? How's life? Hope it's well. I got some questions to be asked about this cylinder kit. Shall we start with the head? So, my question would be Why are there so few and little cooling ribs? Don't really understand. I mean, okay, there are eight screws which are not needed, it's just like optical, but it's the BFA 306. You can also have eight screws in proper cooling wings. Having Cooling rips, not wings, of course, is something quite important. And furthermore, why is there no seal ring? How come? Look at the MRP head, it has a seal ring. Look at the BFA, it has a seal ring here. That's possible. And the other thing is, no seal ring and using an additional head gasket. Um, yeah, I mean, I get the idea that you have two little ribs here, so you try to add some artificial ones here, but this cannot replace good wings here. And furthermore, instead of funky looking head gaskets, you can also add some cooling ribs at the bottom, like MRP did. That was the head. I got more questions. Oops. Hey, my beer is fucked you again. That was the head. Let's put them head away. Next, how about the cylinder? If you compare it to a standard Molossi Sport 210, you see. But this is very tiny, even though it has more cubic than this one. There are way less cooling ribs, especially here in this area. Everything, this, all of this is missing. If you hold them together here, you see that the ribs here, I mean not the one at the bottom because the ports are so big, but in this area, they are the same size. But what is missing from here on? The exhaust port. Yeah. So why are there so few cooling grips in the exhaust port area? No. Then <laughs> the other one is um, a real free port cylinder. One, two, transfer port, boost port. One, two, three. And why does this cylinder only have two ports? Where is the boost port? Why is it only a fake? So inside, a closed one, and if you look inside this port, this edge here is super edgy, so the flow has to go like, like this, not like this, like this, fake port and not nicely shaped, why would you do that? It looks really good to have side exhaust ports here, let's zoom in a bit these here yeah. but <clears throat> why would you just give them such a small hole here this is a super small channel why why don't you make it bigger even the dr177 has bigger side exhaust ports so is this also just optical tuning or real tuning Another thing that jumps into the eye is, you know, here, this, this difference, where's my pointer? If you take a Molossi Sport, the 
distance, the meet between the bore for cylinder bolts and the cylinder foot, that's 2.5 millimeters all around the cylinder foot. A reasonable value, not too thin, not too thick. I mean too thick. If there's no space, it doesn't matter. But not too thin, that's the point. So now look at the 251. Here we have a certain distance. That's both port side. Yeah? But now have a look at the exhaust port side. You see this? This is just one millimeter. One millimeter. What does that mean? This means that the engine case along the full length of the cylinder bolts only has one millimeter mate here. One millimeter cover of the engine cast iron material. Yeah, if you tighten it too much, if you tighten it too much, then this is in danger to break out of the case. Why would you do just one millimeter? You can even also see it on the foot gasket. One millimeter. Why? That's not healthy. One millimeter is way too less. There's a big question mark about this in uh, about this cylinder, especially for this problem. And but let's continue. There's another question. Um, if you have a closer look to the cylinder top and the four bores for the cylinder bolts, you discover that these distances are also different. So we just talked about these. So we have one millimeter sadly here, and this is a healthy strength but and if you measure it you have 4.5 3.9 but here's 7.5 6.5 so what is the thing with the cylinder is is it straight or not or are just the bores not straight or why is it not symmetrical how does it look with other cylinders that's the Malossi Sport 5.5, 6, 0 0.5 millimeter, that is okay. That's tolerance. Same for the Cotrini M244, 4 millimeter here, meat and 4.5. This is fine, yeah? But also, of course, with the BFA, it has 5 millimeters. But it only has short cylinder bolts, so that's a different story. Let's go back to the Pinasco. Why and what does that mean? Is the piston then running a bit ankled or is the cylinder ankled or what did go wrong with that cast? This is weird. Or are the drills? No, but look, this is not 0 0.5. This is 3.6 millimeter difference. piston yes it does look better than the others that do have some potential as we know but question number one is um, that's 251 cc this is 2.7 cc the famous asso piston missing this connection known to crack here and here used in Polini and Pinasco that's a asso Polini 207 so 207 251 why is this piston with quite some windows and holes? Why is this heavier than the 251? How come? How can that be? And what does that mean regarding the stability of a piston? Construction wise, you do need some material, some strengthening beams, etc., and so on. It's lighter than the famous cracking ASO piston. That's weird. Then, next question, 
The roof has 4.5 mm in the middle. This roof has 5 mm in the middle and it is known to get a dent. Because it also does not have any cooling ribs here. And it also doesn't have any cooling ribs. If we have a look at the Meteor piston for the Quattrini, it also does not have cooling ribs, but the roof is 8 mm thick. That's double than the Pinasco. And if you don't have a thick roof, like with the Vertex Malossi or also with the Meteor Grossport 210 replacement piston, if you don't have a thick roof, you have these cooling ribs, these strengthening beams here. They strengthen the construction and they also cool it down and I'll put pictures in the video. You do have them at original pistons, 125, 150, 200. Yeah. That was the next question. Why such a thin roof and no cooling ribs? Either thick roof or thin roof and cooling ribs. And now compared here, there are different construction parts of a piston. The roof, the skirt, the, the eyes for the pin. Why is this so small here? Why is this not properly, not, let's say, why is this not thicker connected here? Look at the old Astro piston. It also is only little connected by little beams. Yeah. If you compare it to the Meteor GS piston, this is thicker. This is properly connected. Why is this so thin? Which one do you think, construction wise? is stronger this one or this one I will go with this one but this is a bit at least a bit stronger yeah and last but not least um, the piston rings you should always measure this gap so this gap is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.15 so um, which one is at the top, which one is at the bottom, and why are the ring gaps different? Hmm. Let's roll the dice. The final question that remains, why does this cylinder kit cost 700 euros? Why is that? Oh, by the way, that's a Cotrini cylinder. It has the same price than the 244. 244 comes with a Meteor piston. It is coated. It has proper cooling ribs. Yeah, cylinder also has cooling ribs here at the exhaust port side. Um, the drills are even. There is enough meat here at the cylinder foot. 4.5 and it has three ports one two and the boost port just to compare 700 700 you do get different material cheers guys have a good one see ya regarding that only one millimeter made of the engine case just to compare it's a 177 foot gasket and it comes with what is it Five millimeter distance. Yeah? Okay, sure, it's 125 or 177, but still. And this is a sprint or even LML. It also comes with 4.5, but not with one. You know, one millimeter is nothing. Look at that. Why would they make this so thin? Let's check out engine cases. How much meat they have there? That's the T5 engine case where the P251 was supposed to go on. Some spots would have been to be welded here, here, everything solvable, but 
the one, just one millimeter on one side gives just one millimeter is the whole length. One millimeter is nothing. Just to see how much the original case is, let's measure this. It is five point eight. Ah, I got visitors. They like my air condition. The BFA. To show you, to show you the cylinder bolt, meat strength, engine case strength of material. It's here. Yeah, 19 millimeters. Um, there is a Pinasco case somewhere. Second. Pinasco case. Four millimeters. Three and a half. Nearly four. That's a bit less here. No, it's also four. That's four millimeters at the Pinasco case. This is for 200. So why would you do one millimeter at 251 with even more power? I don't get it. <laughs> I did prepare something. <laughs> stuff clutch stuff because this stuff and so on because I guess it's time for a small clutch guide a guide the recommendation what is technically actually needed for Vespa tuning not only what looks cool or is important or shops which are profit oriented do want to tell us what's needed just simple back to the roots what do you need for your Vespa tunings sure you can use a Ferrari to go through the city if you have enough money, but you do not really need it. Also, a cheaper car will do the job and it is exactly the same with a clutch. You do not need a fancy clutch for seven, eight hundred euros. Spoiler alert! That's the conclusion of this video. You can also use the simple standard available clutches and I'm gonna tell you what you have to take care of the strengths the weaknesses and at the end you will get a rating based on wheel horsepower which clutch can bear how many horsepower so let's do it classic clutch CNC tuning clutch you do turn the sprocket and the clutch plates so what's moving at the latest modern tuning clutches it's just the clutch plates it's not the sprocket but the clutch plates a <laughs> beast so, yeah. Bist du deppert, ist das ein Biest jetzt? <lacht>